President Obama has declared the H1N1 flu a national emergency, but even after this announcement, people are still wary of the vaccine. Reporter Kelly Moore is at the Providence Little Company of Mary Hospital to clear up confusion about the vaccine's potency and potential dangers. Thanks, Jen and Ben. Last week, I spoke with locals about the H1N1 vaccine, and overall, the consensus was to not get vaccinated because people had so many concerns. I was surprised even when I spoke with a pregnant woman who said she was not going to get vaccinated because she was concerned the vaccine could affect her baby and make it sick, even though she's in the high-risk group. Now, that's why I've decided to come to the Little Company of Mary, where I'm going to speak with a medical professional, hopefully get some answers and separate fact from fiction. I don't think it's as serious as everybody is saying it is. Lucan is talking about the H1N1 virus, but President Obama has declared swine flu a national emergency. And according to the latest government estimates, the virus has killed 1,000 people in the United States since April. Even with these numbers, Dr. Lawrence Eason of Little Company of Mary acknowledges that many people are still struggling with the decision to get the new H1N1 vaccine, like Liz Canales, the mom-to-be who we spoke with last week. Everyone always says, Oh, you're pregnant, you're the high risk group, you should get it. And I just feel like it's higher risk to get the shot. But Eason and other health authorities say the new H1N1 vaccine is safe and they recommend it for everyone in the high risk group, which includes pregnant women. They don't have very much research on it and um, I don't want to take anything that will affect my baby. Eason says the vaccine may be technically a new vaccine, but that doesn't mean it's experimental. It's a new vaccine in, in theory. Actually, this vaccine is produced the same way that the seasonal flu vaccine has been produced for many, many years and has the same safety uh, standard as the regular flu vaccine. And what about Pat Rice, who answered this way when asked if she would get the H1N1 vaccine? No, I don't think so, because I already had the flu. Well, there are many flu-like illnesses that are not protected by the seasonal flu vaccine, and the two shots should be considered separate, but often are not. There are innumerable numbers of uh, potential um, strains of influenza, uh, and the vaccine does cover the majority and give, gives very good protection. Uh, but there are many illnesses and viral illnesses that people still will get, and certainly people will describe an awful lot of different kinds of viral illnesses as uh, what we call the flu, and they're not necessarily the influenza virus. They may be a different kind of virus that causes a flu-like illness, and then people will think that the shot didn't protect them, but the shot was never intended to protect them from that kind of illness. And there's also the concern of the availability, since the H1N1 influenza vaccine has been arriving in limited quantities. If it comes around, I will. You know, the company I work for typically um, gets flu vaccinations every year, so I hope that comes to the company. Health officials say the production of vaccines is an extensive and slow process. It took a while for the government to be able to identify the virus um, and then begin production of the uh, vaccine. The vaccine production does take three to six months. But availability should increase. Walgreens and CVS expect to receive the vaccine soon. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Kelly Moore. Thank you, Kelly. As we mentioned earlier in the show, the county will begin rationing the vaccine until more is available. Officials say only those in the high-risk group should receive the vaccine. That includes pregnant women, young people 6 months to 24 years old, people living with or caring for infants, health care workers, and people with respiratory or other chronic health conditions. Anyone ages 25 to 65 with uh, no underlying health problems should wait before getting inoculated. Health officials also say seniors over 65 should also wait. Unlike the seasonal flu, they are the least susceptible to H1N1 because they have built up immunity from an earlier outbreak of this strain. For more information on the virus and vaccine availability, go to publichealth.lacounty.gov. Even when, when minority groups grow in size, that doesn't always